So Dave, it's it's a pleasure having you on the channel. <laughs> yeah, Sam, great to great to talk with you a little bit here. So, I, firstly, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and even how we kind of got connected? Yeah, so we're both LinkedIn Learning instructors, and LinkedIn Learning, if you're if if people watching this aren't familiar, it's like I call it the Netflix of learning. You know, you you go on and you've got tens of thousands of courses where you can learn anything, like fantastic courses by you on marketing, SEO, uh, that uh, e-commerce, that kind of thing. I've, I'm a productivity uh, leadership guy, so I talk about time management, uh, effective working from home, that kind of stuff. And uh, my background is I started out as a, a small business consultant, and then uh, – I've, I've had five books. My most popular is The Myth of Multitasking, which has been published in multiple languages. So that's sort of more of my background came from. Now I'm talking to people all around the world on in any position. That's incredible. Um, so in, in terms of like, because my audience are mainly entrepreneurs. We're busy. We're, we've, we've got a lot of emails coming through. There's a lot of Those tasks are my people. to do. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering, time management for an entrepreneur, solopreneur, what are your, say, top tips to kind of be productive but not, not get too overwhelmed? Yeah, the, the first thing that I would talk about is the difference between chaos and focus. And I have a book called The Focus Business, and it's, it's like how the entrepreneur is a superhero, and they're fighting the forces of chaos. Chaos is the allocation of time and money to things that are of variable value. Meaning you're working hard, you're hustling, you're throwing ads up, you're doing YouTube, you're doing LinkedIn, you're doing all this stuff. And sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. But successful entrepreneurs, they use focus. And focus is the, alloc the strategic allocation of time and money toward that which is of greatest value. And that's a, pro that's a trap that many entrepreneurs fall into is this idea if I'm hustling, if I'm working hard, I'm being successful. And that's not true. It's more if you're spending, figuring out what's worth the most and then spending your time on that. That's what makes entrepreneurs successful. Wow. So how do you, how do you know what is what you should be focusing on? Uh, data is the first and most important thing. So you look at the numbers, you look at, I mean, even if I'm just, let's just take it from the example that's right here. If I'm on YouTube and I've got videos, I'm going to start seeing which videos have the highest count. And if one has a highest count, I want to set aside everything else and do more of that type of thing. On a sales standpoint, it's what is my best selling item? What is my highest margin item? And I want to simplify things for my customers to make it easier for them to just buy the highest value stuff. And I want to emphasize that. That's incredible. Thank you so much. I think those, those tips are really helpful. Um, where can we go to find more of your productivity tips and the information that you share? Sure. Well, since we're fellow LinkedIn learning authors, uh, that's the first place I direct people to. If you go to DaveCrenshaw.com forward slash learn, uh, that will take you to all my LinkedIn learning courses. And of course, DaveCrenshaw.com. I put out tips every week. Awesome. Um, I'll leave those links in the description down below. So make sure you go and check out Dave's LinkedIn learning courses and also his uh, LinkedIn profile as well. Thank you so much, Dave, for sharing your tips with us. Hopefully we can get you on the channel soon again as well. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Pleasure to get to know you. Awesome. You as well.